Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3, where we're going to be continuing in phase 3 of Lugdunum. Now, in the last phase we crossed the river and established our city, and in this phase we're going to be getting the max level housing for this map, which is some villas, and we also learned some interesting things about Grand Insules, and we continue all our fancy tricks. So this video is going to be the conclusion to Lugdunum in Caesar 3, so let's get things started. All right, so now that we're on phase three of Lugdunum, we have some interesting things that we need to do. So first things first, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set this warehouse to accepting oil because it seems like the traders are going by the crow flies, so they're going over here to sell oil rather than down here, which is a little annoying. I'm gonna set this to not accepting there, which means we're gonna need to have another warehouse right here. I think. Thing. That's probably the best spot for it. It's a little tricky with all these native houses here. I'm gonna have another warehouse right here set to getting oil. So we can get some oil over to this side. Because before we win this mission, I, I want to make sure we evolve these houses, which also currently need barber and school. So yeah, we're gonna put down a barber here. We're gonna put down a school over here. There's a good spot for the school. This should work. Maybe there. That should get... Doesn't have road... Oh, sorry. That's not a... That's not a road. <laughs> it's gonna go right here. There we go. So that will cover by that. We can also, of course, evolve these houses further and put more houses down. But we only need another 800 people on this map. So prosperity is always the difficulty of this map. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be evolving these into villas. Uh, which, currently they do have two types of food. So, to do this uh, in a way that will actually work, I'm going to need to get... What entertainment do they not have? They do need Colosseum access, basically. So I'm going to need to do some sort of road thing here. Uh, the road's going to come down to here. It's going to go along here. And then I guess I'll go back up this way. We'll clear off these trees. So we can do that. And I can put down a lion house right there. And we're going to need an engineer's post right next to it. That should be able to reach these houses for employment. And I guess we just kind of need a Colosseum. How do we fit a Colosseum? I could just fit one right there. Need to look at that. So if I just remove this road, clear off some of these trees here, I could shift the Colosseum over a little bit. Uh, entertainment Colosseum. Make sure we don't block road access. Have the road go right up there and that will provide... what we need here. So that should help these evolve. Correct? I think so. So they just need a little bit more entertainment. Let me just check, make sure they do evolve. Some entertainment, but not enough. What? Oh, there we go. Needs more desirability, so we can probably use oracles right across from them, like this. That should deal with desirability. And of course we should plaza up this whole road, because why not? And needs access to another god. Currently they have Mars, so let's go ahead and give them... What temples do we have extra of? Do I have any extra temples just sitting around? Because I like to keep them even, just because. Uh... I guess we don't need this one. Small temple to Venus. Which I will just place right here. Looks good. And these should pretty much get to villas, right? Haha, <laughs> working Colosseum, first one in the city. <clears throat> and in case you're wondering where they're getting gladiators it's coming from up here. The gladiator spawns going to this amphitheater. Now, what else do they need? Supply of wine. Okay, perfect. So that means we just need to put down a market 
like right along here. How do I do this? Can I fit? I'm gonna need a warehouse and a market. So I can put the warehouse here, and this warehouse is only going to accept wine. And I can put the market right there. And we can start importing wine. Wait. Can we not import wine? Oh no, we gotta import vines. Right, right. That makes things a little trickier. Uh, if that's the case, this should be getting wine. And we can put a warehouse over here set to accepting vines. There we go. Accepting vines, so we can start importing vines. There we go, importing. And we're gonna need some wine workshops. Like that. Some's already coming in, fantastic. Of course, th this is a glitch. You can only import two units unless you have working uh, workshops. I'm just gonna put down five, I guess, because population is gonna be climbing on up here. And I actually... do I... can I make this a road connection? I think I can. If I put a gatehouse right here... I... it's actually... okay if I do that. So there is a road connection, which means... I don't need this here... no, I could just leave this here. Set to accepting wine. There we go. So we don't need to do some weird getting mechanic for to get the wine over here. But there we go. Uh, wine is going to be produced. We've only got two houses to supply it to, so they will evolve pretty soon. Uh, we'll let this one evolve first. And if you did this correctly, you could probably fit more, but I'm just going to go for two villas this time around. Uh, meanwhile, how are these markets on supplies? All doing okay. Furniture, pottery, oil. Finish pottery oil. These have become large insulates. This I can fix by doing that. Allow those to become two by twos. And it seems like there's a bit of a desirability issue back here. Okay, there we go. And over here are the schools. I didn't put a barber down here. Ah, uh, barber, you can go right there. And that should evolve those houses. Another landslide. Ah, that's so annoying. That means vine trade will cut off unless something happens. Anyway, well, let's get some wine in, shall we? Ah. <clears throat> there we go. First two units of wine are in. This market has now taken 200 units of wine. So we just have to wait for this market lady to walk down by these houses, which they should. A lot of... It's fine. There's plenty of room for people to move in. You see that? 30, 40, 30, 40. Plenty of room. There we go. Wine should be distributed here. And they need... A hospital? Okay. How can I fit a hospital? I think I'm gonna move this warehouse over to here. And this warehouse is gonna be accepting wine. So I can fit a hospital. Right here. Come on. There we go. Got a hospital down. So we've got villas. This is so different from my first playthrough, isn't it? I never got villas on this mission. And I never really considered getting villas, but villas is probably the easiest way to solve the prosperity issue on this map. The, the prosperity issue on this map is sort of the, the hardest thing because getting everything evolved is very tricky. No access to local religious facilities. What? No, it's fine. I think something just devolved there and messed up. But, uh, ooh, we can fix this, get rid of that house, to allow those to become two by twos. There we go. Any other one by one houses that can be fixed? I don't think so. What's, oh, desirability is an issue here, is it? Oh, we actually did use up the two pieces of marble there. Let's just do that. 
so we can then have... I could actually, if I move this fountain, this these houses back here can become a two by two. Like that. And we just need to make sure there's enough desirability to maintain that. There we go. <laughs> that house there became a large insulae as well. Fantastic. That's going to help our population and everything. So these... Is the, the clinic not... Oh, just not enough employees are working. Health and education is taking the biggest hit here. Okay, okay. Health and education. Am I wasting any... I just sort of need more employees, I think. Yeah, 108 employees. So I just gotta actually wait for people to move in. 26, 26, 14, 26, 27, 50. You can see that became a 2x2 two two large insulae. These as well, room for 4, room for 4, room for 44. Room for 5, room for 4, room for 44, okay. Plenty of room for new people. Poor access to employees. It should be okay. Maybe I could cut back on marble production a little bit. Is there anything else I could cut back on? Maybe furniture workshops? It's not really an issue, is it? Our food supplies here still okay? Um, granary's empty, but market... Oh no, granary's just taken more food, so yeah, food's okay over there. Pottery... Probably don't need to produce this much. There we go. That should help solve the employment issue. And I could probably make this a little bit more efficient if I break this. If I change this to a gatehouse like that, just to make it a little bit more efficient. Do that. Get rid of these trees here. Oh no, that, that won't work, would it? Because of that warehouse. This has to just be a road like that. Why did these houses just evolve? These houses just evolved for a second, right? Did they run out of wine? No, no, wine's plenty. Each house only has three wine. Uh, we're probably way too many wine production facilities, I think. We just need a little bit. Just need a little bit. Shot by 37 employees. 13 employees are down. Uh, health? Come on. Hospital. Oh, did he walk the wrong way? Okay, here he comes, here he comes. Here comes the hospital worker. A surgeon. A surgeon. Oh, he didn't quite... He stopped walking, damn it. Uh, Rome increased the price of vines, that's okay, but this has now evolved. Needs access to an academy. We're running out of space here. Academies are good for... Uh, good for desirability. So I think I might be able to... Oh, this is a tricky place to build things. I think if I move this temple to Venus to somewhere a bit more manageable... Let me slow the game down. So I can do this. So I can do... clear off those trees there. And I'm gonna move the hospital. And the temple to Venus will go there. An academy will go here, and, wait, no, not there, uh, I'll move, actually, no, yes, there, because I'm gonna put the hospital over on this side, so the academy can go back there, and the hospital will go right here, and to make sure desirability stays afloat, I'm gonna go ahead and put down an oracle right here. And a couple small statues, just to... No, no, let's not do that. Let's leave a gap there just in case. <laughs> Don't want to block the access to Rome. Let's send this off, no problem. 
There we go. Not sure. Is there a clean path back there? I think there is. Employees needed. That's a good message to hear. Okay. So academy, hospital. All right. So now we just have to wait for these houses. There we go. Hospital has evolved. We got to wait for the academy guy to come down. No employees live nearby. Ah, oh, the brown walker went the wrong way. To stabilize things, I really should put a couple houses, but it's a messy way of doing things, isn't it? If I move the houses... Uh, no, that's kind of... Uh. All right, to stabilize it, just temporarily, I'm going to put down a couple houses there. Are food stocks maintaining here? Did the market just take... It's 600 food, it should be okay. Food stocks here are maintaining as well. Market's still fed. These houses here doing okay. These markets keeping up with the issues. Okay. Is this... Uh, I should set this to not accepting. We can get rid of this warehouse here. These houses here have evolved as well. And to boost our population, we can just go ahead and squeeze in a few more houses here and there. Like that. And we could have... Yeah, like that. That, because there's plenty of food here. And just to make sure we stay on top of it, one more wheat farm. Oh, nope. Ah, that blocks the road. Let's get rid of that. Okay, that was close. <laughs> um, we can move the actor's colony? To fit a farm there. Now let's make sure aqueducts weren't destroyed. No, okay. I'll have to move this engineer's post to leave that road open to have the wheat farm there. Okay. That solves that issue. I should actually just do that. Move that over one, put the engineer's post right there. For stability. Okay. So these still need access to an academy. So I got a couple houses there, which are, it's an ugly thing to do, but the academy dude is walking the wrong way. <laughs> um, is there any way I could solve this problem? If I just speed it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. And now we have a large villa. Good at entertainment. So this is the maximum level. If I get rid of this statue here, it will evolve further. There we go. So we've got two large villas, which seems to be maximum level housing on this map. And I'll just wrap these around for aesthetics. Okay. There we go. We've got two large villas. <clears throat> Fantastic. Uh, I suppose I could put a gatehouse here. But it's fine. This seems to be working out okay. And that should be boosting up our prosperity quite significantly. And look at that. Just for an extra challenge, the villas are on the low ground because this market here is just tossing things down the cliff. It's like, oh, you need some food? Here's some meat, here's some wheat. <laughs> uh, the oil, furniture, everything's being dumped from down there. So it's a little weird, but... Why are these markets all out of food? I think to stabilize, I'm going to go ahead and put... Why did these houses just devolve? We just got them, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. That's... that's... oh, damn it. That's wrong. Ah, uh, we have to redo this. I deleted the wrong house and I can't undo. Doesn't have ax... Ah, um, oh, that, that sucks. I don't suppose a reservoir could go there. No, it can't. 
I needed the house to be up against the cliff. I deleted the wrong set of houses. Because you see there? The water doesn't reach. Damn it. Oh well. I might as well just go ahead and do this immediately. And uh, I'm gonna move this library so we can keep a second market up here to keep things going. And also, uh, I need to put the library on the low ground. There we go. And I will just not look at this until later. <laughs> we'll come back and, and it'll go. I can move the fountain over one on the high ground. Does it actually reach? I thought it didn't reach before. Yeah, see, it doesn't reach. It doesn't quite reach. That That's an illusion. That's just saying that house there has... has or these structures here have access. You see, it technically ends there, and this reservoir can't go any further. So yeah, it, it's an illusion. Meanwhile, we'll just boost our population and our other uh, ratings here. As population goes up, we'll be able to keep things going. Let's just squeeze in a couple more houses here. Uh, do those houses have water? They do. So I can have a couple houses there as well. And we just wait for people to move in. Ah. <laughs> am I feeding the villas through the cliff? Ask No Name 38. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. With these markets here, we are feeding through the cliff. It's, uh, it's an interesting technique where we throw food down the cliff. <laughs> uh, employment is, is sort of better now. Stabilized a little bit. Food's keeping up there, food's keeping up here. We're just producing way too many... Too much pottery, I think. Those houses are now evolving. Employees needed means we just crossed a little bit there. Uh, there's a gladiator school up here. No, I think the extra two farms I put should be fine. Oil's coming in there, it's getting from here, so it is importing into this one. And I think we are selling pottery out of here, which is not the best, but okay. We've got an extra market down this side to help stabilize the food supply. And we've got an extra market up here to help stabilize the supply to the villas later on. Waiting for these houses to move back in. Ugh, I really don't want to look at them. <laughs> uh, got stuck a little bit of oil over there. Where did this get oil? Oh, this is only getting oil from up there, I guess. These granaries seem okay. So yeah, we just sort of have to sort of speed things along. Come on, move back in. As soon as these houses move back in, they should evolve pretty quickly. There we go. Because they already have everything they need. So they need to become two by twos. Oh, that's why the library was up here. Uh... So just temporarily, we need a library up here. Because the library on this side can't reach three, three steps away. So we gotta let that library evolve there, and then replace the school that was here. There we go. Second type of food. Surely there's a second type. Why do both these markets all just have meat? Wait, 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 wait. Why is this? Oh, oh, I see. I need to delete that granary because it's been accepting uh, meat this whole time. Get out of the way, please. Oh no, don't tell me you're glitched. Don't tell me you're glitched. You're holding wheat. Okay, just very quickly. Get out of the way, please. Oh no, don't tell me he's permanently glitched. Is he accepting... is he carrying meat? 
Just, okay, there he goes. <laughs> that walker glitched out for a second there. I was scared I wouldn't be able to replace this granary. There we go. I, I was wondering why meat just suddenly disappeared. Luckily, these are not grand insulates. All right, please fill this back up with wheat so we can get a second type of food. Whew. But now all of these houses have to go through a first feeding of wheat again. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's just gonna take a while. Meanwhile, our population is actually reaching 5,000, so that's fantastic. I'm just gonna spam some oracles around here, because why not? We could squeeze it. No, let's not do that. Squeeze a few gardens around the middle here, just to fill up the gaps. Uh, for the middle here, we could just have some small statues, I guess? Another landslide. There we go. So this block's done. So now we're just waiting for our prosperity. Culture, favor piece is fine. Okay. So we need the the wheat to start stockpiling here. It's going to take a while. The markets should have enough backup of everything to... Yeah. The markets have enough backup of everything. 5,000 people. Yes. Ah. Oh, um, Cha-Ching888 does point out I'm not very rich at the moment. I have run out of money. Uh, let's stop importing that. Uh, importing timber, importing oil. We gotta keep importing those. Um, is it because I haven't been taxing people? Let me just check. Where am I not taxing? Tax income. I've not taxed this place. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to build forums everywhere. I forgot to tax anyone. Jeez, why have you, none of you guys told me to tax people? Wait, no, there is a... Oh, it's January. <laughs> there is a tax thing there. Okay, we haven't been taxing these two areas. We're gonna start taxing this area, and we might as well start taxing this area as well. So we're gonna need to clear off a bit of spot space there. Okay, we, we have been running a bit low on money here. And we can up our taxes a little bit. Okay. Imports have been taking a bit of a hit here. How's employment? Unemployment of 3%. Perfect. And I think temporarily I will change these farms to wheat. Ah, some wheat did make it to the low ground. Fantastic. That will evolve these houses up again, there we go. Medium villas. Up to large villas. This one needs desirability. Why, you had enough desirability last time. Uh, there is a gap around the back here, so we can do that. This, that is not okay, apparently. <laughs> why, why would you... Delete my aqueducts. I hate it that this happens. Let's do that. <laughs> I thought there was a gap around the back of the Colosseum. Isn't there? Oh, because the library is there, it's blocked. Okay. So I can... I should be able to put gardens there. Is the school causing issues? I mean, I could put a school on the low ground as well, if that helps. What just happened? Falling desirability? Wait, wait, no, no. It must be a water issue, right? Come on, I re... Oh, damn. No, no, no. Everyone get back in. I hate that. I hate that it does that. Everyone re-evolve. Re-evolve, please. Let's make sure we delete the right house here. It's that one that we want to keep. <laughs> Jeez. That is, that is so annoying. Good thing we have unemployment. Lost bathhouse access, as if. Okay. 
Now, what happened to the desirability here? I mean, I could change this engineer's post to that side. I could try squeezing a couple of statues here and there. It was okay before. Maybe this school is causing the issue. Let's move the school to here. So we can at least put like an oracle here or something. That might help. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Large villa. Waiting for the library. Okay. So we are above 5,000 people now. So now we could focus on the culture rating. So let's just look at here. Need more theaters. Colosseum is poor. How about education? Schools below average. Okay. So we have a lot of extra space. So I can just go ahead and do this. Um, that's... We can spam schools around here. That should help deal with the school issue. It's now good. Why why has this devolved again? Why why can't I stabilize this? What are you missing? No basic educational facilities. Uh, no, that's that's just a lie, I think. Uh, we'll move this temple to Mars so that we can then put a school here. Yeah, shifting the road over like that should help a bit. There we go. Please re-evolve, thank you very much. And the temple to Mars needed to go here. Okay. And why can't we get the wheat supply here, climbing back up? Supply of wine, okay. We still have plenty of wine. Money is starting to go back up, which helps. I think taxing people did help. There we go. Now, please just stay like that. Just stay like that. Okay, how's our ratings? Culture's 56, so education, uh, we got excellent. Uh, what else we have? 1% unemployment. Theatres could help. So we could spam some theatres down. So this is just how we get the culture rating going, because... Uh, let's give you a well as well. Uh, the culture rating is based on these city coverage things. Theatres now excellent. Let's get them working. There we go. Culture is now where it needs to be. Peace, favor, prosperity rating is rising. Uh, loss of money probably hurt us a little bit. Jeez, why are we so low on money? We are now taxing everyone, right? Yeah, everyone's being taxed. And I think just temporarily, I will stop imports. Timber, we have a surplus, so let's stop importing that. And we're also importing oil. Do I have enough surplus to not import oil? Yeah, I'll just get rid of that. We actually went into debt. Why are they not buying things? Are they buying things from us? Oh, we're not selling pottery. That's why. I forgot we're not selling pottery. There we go. That should help deal with some things. But they kind of buy pottery from there. <laughs> All right. Going into debt does not help our prosperity rating, but uh, we'll wait and see how it goes up. Why have these devolved again? Why? I need to, to watch these a bit closer. Because I'm not sure 
They have everything. What is not coming down this way? Because see, they can... They can pretty much immediately evolve back up, right? So what what is the issue? Ah, oh, trade locked off. There we go, money's back up. Uh, what were we importing? Timber? Yeah. And oil. Yeah. We have plenty of wine. There we go. It's fine. What is your issue? I'm probably missing something I should not be missing. Okay, so I can get rid of that. How are these all Grand Insules? Wait, don't they need... Don't you need Colosseum access? Or is it just a second type of food? Don't you need Colosseum access to... Evolve to Grand? Wait, correct me if I'm wrong. You need Colosseum access to evolve to Grand Insulas, correct? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true, because I, I tried to... These are Grand Insulas, but if I look at Entertainment, Colosseum... What is going on on this map? Have I done so many weird things that the, the game is glitching out? Amphitheater. Theater. Overall. Has some access of entertainment, has reasonable access. It is different. These should not be Grand Insulates. What? Grand Insulates need two types of food, but they also need Colosseum access, right? That's why these were uh, large Insulates until I put down the Colosseum. All right, resources are all fine. It must just be access to something. So I think the solution is to put a gatehouse there and an engineer's post there. That is probably going to solve our problem, because I think something's been walking up this way and breaking things. But these being Grand Insulates, that is not correct. They do not need three entertainment, just two entertainment? Really? I thought that I really thought they needed... Huh. Flizzy Duck says it says more entertaining for me. Five, only a Colosseum can do this? Just two entertainment, really? How come... That... I don't remember it being like that. Cha-ching888 says they are supposed to need a Colosseum. Okay. Maybe the overall city's entertainment value affects it, maybe? Maybe since I got this up to perfect and the culture rating is high... Our prosperity is 45. Look at that, we're about to win. We're about to win, but... That is very confusing. Because the first... The last time... I, when I did the, the city building doctor for Lugdunum, uh, the houses would not evolve until I put down a Colosseum. And I had, like, the, the lion house here and the Colosseum over here. 
And only the houses that the lion walker passed evolved into Grand Insulators. JS5563 says Grand Insulate Entertainment 3, Food 2. Yeah, that, that's what I remember. So what is this? Hyena Cupcake is looking at a different resource that says it doesn't need Colosseum for Grand. How interesting. How interesting. These are the weird small quirks of Caesar 3. How interesting. All right, so I just did a little bit of testing on this and I found out that these are Grand Insulae's legit. You do not need Colosseum access to reach Grand Insulae's. Grand Insulae's just say they need more entertainment. So, uh, besides having two types of food. So if you see here, we currently have perfect, good, and poor, right? You need enough city coverage of entertainment totals. So if you, for example, think none as zero, poor as one, below average as two, average as three, above average as four, good as five, um, excellent as six, and perfect as seven, you need a total of like seven, uh, seven, five, seven, three, four, five, uh, like 13 to 14 total points in city coverage. Uh, I think it's, uh, to, if you don't have any Colosseums, you need perfect, perfect, otherwise perfect, good, poor, or a total of 13 points uh, will do. If you have a Colosseum, uh, if you have a Colosseum, 13 points will do. If you don't have a Colosseum, you need uh, perfect, perfect on theaters and amphitheaters. And your large insulates will just evolve into grand insulates. So if you see here, if I start to pull back on, uh, Theatres. I spam some theatres here. So let's say, looking at this, you see theatres are now perfect. If I get rid of theatres until it drops to excellent or very good, these houses here will now devolve. See that? It is about coverage, not access to a Colosseum. For, for years, I thought you needed Colosseum access, but in fact, you just need city coverage. Of course, it's easier with a Colosseum in the city, but you can do it without a Colosseum. Uh, and I did just test if theaters are perfect and amphitheaters are perfect city coverage, they will evolve into Grand Insulates. That is something I just never knew. And of course, they do need the two types of food, of course, uh, but this is about the entertainment requirement. Anyway, let's let's just try win this mission, shall we? <laughs> let's just try win. Uh, I think that will be a good idea. This is set to accepting. Yeah, so uh, we're using more more wheat than meat, so we can keep that going. Ah, <clears throat> counting TLS is not in chat right now, so that's a little tricky. He he would know the answer. It says my prosperity rating is rising, so let's just wait. How is our employment, by the way? Unemployment of one percent. Fantastic. So this gets us to the victory. There we go. There we go. We have beat Lugdunum in an interesting and sort of different way and proving that blocks can be any sort of shape because this whole playthrough is about not reusing uh, block designs. And we even did some interesting tricks like having villas on the low ground so the market ladies are throwing food off the cliff. There we go. There we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and accept promotion. <laughs> Your treatment of the native Gauls in Lugdunum and that fair city's splendor bodes well for Rome's expansion into the northern wilderness. Well done. All right, well, that is the end of Lugdunum. Uh, some weird bugs happened throughout the whole thing, like the marble showing up in the wrong warehouse and things like that. But uh, we, we finally got to the end. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see what the next maps have in store. We're now on the seventh assignment, which is Tarsus, a largely peaceful province, and Tingis, a dangerous province. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can go ahead and click the buttons on the screen right now to take you to those videos, but make sure you come back and watch its counterpart, the military and the peaceful missions. But anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.